Alright guys, welcome back. This is Acidic Roots. Uh, this is part 8 of Blackthorn. So, uh, we're about done with these forest stages, which is still a stellar part of the game, but uh, I'd est estimate by like the end of part 9, beginning of part 10, we'll be in a new world and stuff, so originally I thought this was going to be like a 23-24 part project, but it's probably only going to be like 18, 19, or 20 episodes, especially at the rate that I'm going. So, I'm just going to kind of let them handle it. I don't know if I necessarily have to take part in that fight, but yeah, I mean those traitor and draw here are really a pain in the ass. I mean, that's just the thing about it. There's some real bastards. And the thing I hate about them is their reflexes. So I was just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna shoot with that dude. Someone's gonna get hit. But, you know, obviously I wouldn't try that in the last stage because I wind up the gameplay I just did like a few minutes ago. I got completely killed over that, so that was relatively stupid. And these orcs get tougher too, I mean, I have to admit. Yeah, I will take that bomb. Take this bomb. Much obliged. Got three of the fucking things. Gotta go a little bit further, they don't really show you where you have to jump, but that dude's just laying bombs, I don't know why he is, there's no enemies on the screen. So, Kyle bumps his head, and we continue, and I waste the bomb. I waste two bombs. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I would say World 3, when you see it, it's not the worst of the stages, but it's just lengthy. I mean, that's where this it starts getting a lot longer and more complicated, and I just would have to say uh, it's not pleasant if you don't have patience. Because I remember watching it, and I was like, you know, these are actually longer episodes. Worlds 1 and 2 are so simple. You know, at least they, they may not have been easy, but they were at least simplistic. But the next one's a little bit, and so is World Four. I mean, both of which the, the, it kind of ramps up. So. But at least for you viewers, all you have to do is kick back with some Cheetos or some, you know, cheeseburgers, pasta, or something, and watch. <laughs> you know, so that's kind of the main thing. Luckily, that Androthy took care of him. And good, you know, because if he wouldn't, I might not have gotten that potion. So, I don't think they'd drop items if they die, so that was very useful. That and draw that traitor can go to hell, he could suck a penis, you know. He was gonna, if, I, if he would have killed my buddy and then I wouldn't have gotten that potion, that would have really made me mad. So, uh, there is a possibility that that could have happened, so. I'm just gonna watch this fight right here. So you gotta keep in mind that uh, the traitors take five hits to kill. Even I mean, and I and here's something that may piss you off. Uh, when you get the gun upgrade at the end of this world, it doesn't really do much against them. You still can only shoot them twice. I figured I could have shot them three times and knocked them out in two segments, but no to no avail. So. But it does help with the orcs. And obviously they get tougher as well. So. Yeah. It's too bad that these bombs can't burn holes open in the, the walls like they did in the previous world. That would be helpful. Skip some parts, but I think that's kind of the point. It's supposed to be some exploring stuff. I'm just gonna use some cheap tricks for this dude. Oh yep, man, we snag a potion. Ha <laughs> 
the hell? So, I was trying to think of something to yap about. I went to Taco Bell today and I got a Crunch Wrap Supreme. I've been eating those lately. And I also got some Cinnabons. I like those because they have like, uh, they're not just cinnamon flavored things, but they also have like special cream filling, filling with that also. So it's delightful. The only thing about it was, was back when I used to get them in the past, they would come in like four or six packs, something like that. Now they only come in two packs. So, they, I mean, I don't know why you would only buy two of them. The whole situation is kind of bad branding to say, oh, this two is all I need. But, I mean, that should, should be three. I mean, I mean obviously it's going to be an even number, but, you know. So there are traps, you know, pay attention to that, you know, those guns, they, they put them in irregular places, so if you hit the trap, chances are you're going to get shot. I don't know if actually a door opens, but I found that to be kind of bitch made. Actually, I, I realize now that I didn't need to do the running jump. Sick of encountering those assholes. Uh -huh. So, I'm kind of running out of content to yap about right now. I'm trying to think of other things. The coronavirus is still going rampant. So there's just really nothing to do. With the whole damn context thing. Everyone, I mean. I don't know. I mean, when I think of a pandemic, you think of something that could actually not be so isolated. Because uh, that's like the biggest thing. I think everyone just hates being isolated. And this is such a vindictive turn of events to sit there and have to be subjugated to just your immediate family and not being able to go anywhere besides food or pharmacy. That's kind of how things have turned out. I mean, I don't know what the... I mean, obviously, complaining about it's not going to do anything, but I'll tell you, it certainly is an inconvenience. So many people have said, you know, 2020 is canceled or whatever, and it's like, <laughs> I don't know if this is going to go away in 2021. I'm just kind of like, hell, you know, the whole 2020 decade is canceled as far as I'm concerned. I didn't want to deal with this when I was 30 and 31, you know. If this would have happened when I was in my 50s, it wouldn't have pissed me off so much because I wouldn't have needed to leave the house. This is the fact that, like, hey, I'm 30 years old and I can't even go to the park or the grocery store without having problems. But, ugh. So, but obviously, I don't want to sound so hopeless about it. This is kind of, I mean, that's why I'm playing this game, is for people that are pulling their hair out. And that's kind of what you have to pay attention to. Kyle Blackthorn is such an apt and able hero, despite being a, a kind of a, a, a douche at times, but I still like him. And uh, my breath smells like Taco Bell there. But, uh, yeah, so I thought about doing F Zero, but I don't know. It's kind of tired of that. I just need to keep finding games like this. I mean, after I do uh, Blackthorn, I'm going to move to Super Metroid more. I mean, I've already started it, but I'm going to easily uh, concentrate on that. Get some real uh, stellar games on my channel. I thought you guys thought that you were satisfied after Donkey Kong Country, you know. Oh, it doesn't get much better than DKC. Well, it does. <laughs> Cobalt's just been up to his bag of tricks. I suppose I can mention him. Like he, uh... I don't even know what he's been up to. Yeah, he has his job, so... <laughs> he has to... Be... He has to flag board and his responsibilities to the country. Alright folks, so I had to take a brief break, but uh, 
yeah, like I was saying, I mean, Cobalt just has a job he has to get to, but he can still lend the help in hand. Uh, he probably won't make too many more appearances in Blackthorn, but you'll probably see him a few times in Super Metroid and stuff. So. I think he actually is a fan of a couple Blizzard games. I don't know so much about Warcraft. I think he likes, like, League of Legends or something like that. I thought that that was Blizzard. So, but yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to think of, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the news has just been relentless just with this coverage and where I live in Missouri it's now going to be mandatory to wear a mask so if you don't have one you're going to get fined a hundred dollars this makes me wonder how many people are going to be worthwhile to or I think it's worth it to take that fine but I'm just kind of like whatever I mean there's nowhere I want to go I mean you have to look at it from like the perspective of trying to say where would I want to go that's worth uh, a twenty thousand dollar hospital bill, <laughs> you know. Apart from maybe like uh, your old lady's place or something like that, but you know, other than that, there's just not many. That's just kind of how it goes. But it's kind of under the impression of just uh, Kyle Blackthorn would think the same thing. It would be funny to kind of see him in a mask. You know, having to fight this war during a pandemic, the orcs probably wouldn't get the disease, so that would give them the advantage. Just the Androthy and shit, Sarlacc would probably use it to his advantage. <laughs> I would like to see some video games based upon the coronavirus, like a Grand Theft Auto that used coronavirus. Where it's like, hey, I mean, it would be kind of weird to incorporate, but I think if they could pull it off, it, it probably would be useful. I make some sneaky jumps there, but... This game actually came out for the PC, so if you're wondering, like, oh, do I have to get a Super Nintendo? Like, well, uh, it, it's, I think it's basically free for the PC also. Uh, you just have to locate uh, Blizzard's website and there's a way to get it, so. But once again, you know, the, the whole thing about this game is once you get addicted to it, you have to realize that there's nothing that ever spawned out of this franchise again, so. This is a very brief taste to this world. It's too bad because they put so much effort into making it interesting and it's dumb for it to be a one-shot. Yeah, we got the levitator, so we've got shit to do, we've got to get that taken care of, but we're almost out of here. I mean, it won't be in this episode if we're getting close. Just watch the rain and the lightning effects. I, I think I've talked to most of the Androthy also. I'm just trying to think if there's any ones I haven't. They, I mean, they, ha they have a decent amount of lines, but... Uh, yeah, just know that they're not going to really be there. They're really not there that much in World 3 or 4, so this is like their breakout moment. So. You do have to fight Sarlacc, of course, by yourself. You know, no questions asked about that. So I, there's kind of a fun fact about this is the fact that this game almost came out for the PlayStation, which I probably, if I would have, if it had happened, I would have likely played it on there. I know they would have had some extra shit. Would have been interesting, but uh, kind of a thing. Let us progress. Oh, we're almost out of time. So I guess. I don't want to get too involved in the conversation, so... Yep. Find out what happens next time. It will be interesting. Subscribe for more fun. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful night.